today folks we're going to go back in time no it's not back to the future we're going to go to a retro restaurant called Biff Burger it's the last one in existence here in St. Petersburg Florida it's a world famous tourist attraction let's go check this out they're having a bike uh, cruise in tonight we're going to check that out and try a burger uh, that's coming at you right now And the outside of Biff Burger is definitely retro. It is the original building it does seem to look like here in St. Petersburg, world famous Biff Burger. One of the things that's super cool here is this Biff Burger sign. It says Char Burrell right on it. And it's got the flames up there and the little flames, even during the day, are flashing. The little neon flames are flashing off and on. Right here is the drive through sign for Biff Burger, world famous Biff Burger here in St. Petersburg. They are driving around here uh, in line at the drive through at the last remaining Biff Burger in existence. Uh, at one time there were about 800 locations, I do believe that's what they told me. Uh, they're getting ready to have a bike cruise in and these bikes are going to start cruising in here pretty soon and we're going to check that out and check out some food. Here is the drive through menu board at Biff Burger. Kind of retro, isn't it? Nothing seems to change. It's kind of a trip back in time. It's a big menu for sure. I never seen so much stuff on a menu in my life. As you can see, it has a retro signage here for their menu and it's a large menu for sure. Over there is their, that's their flame broiler there. Uh, contraption that where they make the burgers and they go through there and they come out and they dip them in a special sauce that they're world famous for. He is right now, got some going through, looks like. They also have wings here. Ooh, yeah. those look so fabulous. Everything smells have. good here. Yeah. I tell you, this is something you do not see every day is a retro cigarette machine and an operational cigarette machine at that. And they do have one right here at Biff Burger uh, where you can actually purchase the cigarettes here in this machine. If you're old enough to remember what one of these is, they have one in operation here. You just don't see that every day. This is their Biff Burger menu. It's a world famous Florida attraction. And this menu is almost a book. This is a lot. This is the biggest menu I think I've seen in a restaurant. Unbelievable. You can see the flames back there in the machine that the burgers ride through and become charbroiled and then they have a sauce, a special sauce that they dip them burgers in. And they're very, very inexpensive burgers. They do have a lot of retro signage here in this shop and it's all original decor it does look like. Uh, they have a country style breakfast here and you get two eggs, two cakes, two bacon for $4.99. Their breakfast starts at 6 a.m. and uh, not just lunch. This here does look like my burger is ready here at Biff Burger, Tampa Bay's only Biff Burger, the only one in existence. And they put the little uh, plastic bag on there, and I do believe that's to keep the juices inside it. Keeps it hot, yes. Keeps it hot. And all covering the walls are retro portraits. There's one of Lucy Arnaz and Desi Arnaz, and right below it, if anybody's old enough to remember, Ozzie and Harriet, there's Ozzie and Harriet. That's been definitely from the 50s right there. Biff Burger does have those old Formica type booths here, the retro booths. And I'm getting ready to sit down right here right now and eat these two burgers. I got the regular Biff Burger and the Biff Deluxe. And uh, uh, the regular Biff Burger comes with the sauce and the... Uh, Deluxe didn't come with the sauce, but um, I added the sauce for an extra small fee. Uh, the regular Biff is only like a dollar thirty-nine, and this big Deluxe was a dollar eighty-nine. Where can you go anywhere and get one that that cheap? They've also got the Blues Brothers up here on the wall, and uh, Jackie Leeson and Art Carney from the, the Honeymooners 
another 50s show. Nice little retro uh, restaurant here. Definitely want to check this out. Cool place to eat. We'll take you right back in time. I am going to try the regular Biff Burger and they put them in the plastic bag just to keep all the juices and stuff inside and to keep them hot and fresh they said and uh, oh this smells so good this burger and it is char broiled and look at that look at the meat on that 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 is a nice looking burger right there but I this is the regular one doesn't have much on it um, topping wise uh, the deluxe I'm gonna chomp into that here in a minute and that's got a lot of stuff on it this right here is the Biff Deluxe that I got. They have several different varieties of burgers here and a big list. And this here I added the sauce to it and as you can see it's got a lot of great toppings on this one. And this one was only a dollar and eighty nine cents. And uh, I'm not sure where you can go and get a burger like this for a dollar eighty nine. But you can here at Biff Burger. Uh, we're going to talk more about uh, this menu. This is a awesome menu. That first sandwich was super tasty. They have a special Biff sauce that they put on this. Uh, you can get it with or without the sauce, I believe. Uh, some of the sandwiches come with it, some does not. But uh, you can always add it. And I'm going to try this here right now. And as you can see from this menu, they have burgers and dogs. Uh, the famous Biff Burgers comes various different ways. The regular Biff Burger is only $1.39. Then you go up to the Biff Deluxe. And then you got the Cheese Biff, the Cheese, cheese Biff Deluxe. And as you can see from this very large menu, uh, you can uh, get just the sandwiches or you can make them a platter. Uh, several different options here. Uh, so many options I had a hard time choosing. And they have a knife and fork charbroiled gourmet half pound burger basket down here. And they've got like, let's see, like 14 different types of burgers. One of the burgers that stood out to me was this killer chili burger, a special chili sauce. And there's the Rockford burger, Rockford burger. There's a Chevy burger, old fashioned burger, the chopper burger. That's for them bikers out there, the chopper burger. And they do have appetizers, salads, and barbecue. And they have a big selection of buffalo wings and appetizers here all different sizes plus nuggets and chicken. Um, one of the things that caught my eye was fried green beans. And uh, that's interesting. I have to try some of those and those are $5.99. And they do have the dinner plates down here, all kinds of barbecue uh, that you can get. And they have a good selection of hot dogs and they're all beef hot dogs. Uh, one that stood out to me there was the Jamaican dog and uh, they got a slaw dog too old-fashioned slaw dog how about that and at biff burger they do cook your burger to order hot and fresh it's not sitting under a heat lamp they talk about how sandwiches are put underneath a heat lamp and what the result is because when sandwiches are made with lettuce and mayo it says uh and they're held under a heat lamp or steam unit even for a short period of time, the lettuce and the bun become soggy and the mayo tastes bad, fries go limp, etc. But not here at Biff Burger. Their uh, fresh, never frozen hamburgers are cooked right to order, right on the charbroiler. Buns are toasted right there on the spot when you order them. So you're getting a fresh sandwich here um, and at a reasonable price. Well, on Wednesday night here at Biff Burger, they have a motorcycle cruise in, and they are coming in right now. Here's a biker right now coming in, and there's a whole bunch of them lined up over there also at Buffy's Barbecue. Now, this right here is a very sharp motorcycle here. Absolutely incredible. That could be a new super cycle for sure. That is awesome. I don't think I've ever seen one that nice that is almost like a little mini car here's another really nice motorcycle here this is a honda and uh, they have a bunch of bikes out here on display right in front of biff burger and buffy barbecue here in st petersburg on wednesday night another unique thing here at biff burger up on top of the building is a 57 chevy see that big car up there that is pretty cool 
sitting on top of uh, the Buffy Buffy's barbecue side of Biff Burger, and uh, they have a bunch of hot rides out here, a bunch of motorcycles. All the bikers are out in full force here tonight at Biff Burger and Buffy's barbecue. We got a live band going on over here at Buffy's. As you can see, Buffy's is kind of unique because it's got it's one of the longest bars here in St. Petersburg, and they have palm trees coming up through inside from inside up through the up to the awnings that's pretty cool it looks like all the crowd is inside here at the bar at buffy's there's a big line of motorcycles here on display for you to come look at and enjoy for the evening get a live band in there for you go over and get you a biff burger char world since 1958 and it says it was been voted the best burger since 1958 consistently. Here's the little logo for Buffy's Barbecue, which is to the right of Biff Burger. It's a joint effort, I believe. And uh, as you can see, they have a little drive through here too. And a whole line of motorcycles here for the bike cruise in. Also at Biff Burger, on Friday nights, they have a classic car cruise in right here at Biff Burger. And uh, so you come out and see some classic cars. Here's a nice looking cycle right here with the flames on it. Black. Uh, very cool looking cycle with some uh, white smoke looking flames with a skull. And uh, that's pretty, that's a pretty nice looking cycle right here. They have a little dedication plaque here below their flagpole here. Dedicated in the honor of all of our heroes who serve or have served our state and nation from the historic landmark Biff Burger. And this is dated November 12th of 2016. Well, this has been my little quick trip here to Biff Burger in St. Petersburg, world famous Biff Burger. Retro place. They have a bike cruise in on Wednesday nights. As you can see from behind me, there's a bunch of bikes. And uh, it's a very good burger. Um, always fresh, never frozen and been voted the best burger since 1958 consistently. And um, used to be a chain. It's, it's good to go to these little retro, retro restaurants that are still around. And there used to be 800 of these. Now there's only one in existence and this is it. If you come to St. Petersburg, definitely check Biff Burger out and Buffy's Barbecue. If you're here on a Wednesday, come down for their bike cruise in. Friday nights is their classic car cruise in. I'm going to have to come up here and check that out. Um, pretty good place. Um, retro uh, old school cigarette machine in this place. I hadn't seen one of those in years in an establishment. Uh, they used to be everywhere when I was little. Uh, and um, I, I do see that they have uh, some kind of that, that, like these vintage places will have an old uh, cigarette machine for sale but this is an operational cigarette machine in this place unbelievable um, great place come and check it out Biff Burger the, and one, one more thing is uh, back when this started Biff Burger Biff stood for this is an acronym which stood for best in fast food not quite as fast as your McDonald's but it's worth the wait uh, absolutely worth the wait and the price is very reasonable here at Biff Burger and their special Biff sauce was really really good and I'm gonna be coming back here quite often because this is some good food uh, love a good retro place that can kinda go back in time and take you back and uh, place still looks the same and uh, the menus still look the same and uh, one of the largest menus I think I have seen at a restaurant um, and a small little place. They have parking, additional parking in the back for when they do have these bike cruise ins and car cruise ins. As you can see, all the bikes back there behind me. And um, I'm going to leave right now. Hope you've enjoyed this little trip back in time to a little cool little spot called B a Biff Burger and Buffy Buffy's Barbecue next door. And they do serve up handmade uh, the ice cream there at, at Buffy's. Um, Always go out there and make it a great day because you deserve it.